if you're joining us here do your life a favor <laughs> and go back and catch it from the beginning don't let the clickbait get to you i should not even clickbait don't let the heading get to you voilà. go catch it from the beginning so tight imeisha jeri ni best yangu for life mwirigi ni best yangu yeah boboni best yangu yeah so you, i had you, you i mean off air you told me something like they even handed back the company to you or what yeah there's a well, no, company we are running together they're like yeah you are the one who's continuing this one you are the one who's staying in music because we had to discuss i was like yo can i stay in music can i continue to sing the music that we've done roho moja it's really important to follow your tr- your truth now jerry and mirigi are married they have yeah. two amazing boys they are like doing amazing stuff with their life yeah should have like just been here miserable chasing a dream that she didn't want to chase but also she looked at the path involved yeah. and she was like nah this this yeah. not for me and i find that so helpful like to to not to be able to read the sign correctly maybe she took everything and read the signs and she's like this is not the trajectory of the life i desire mm-hmm. but a lot of us read the signs and then you're like me have already decided what my life must be so mm-hmm. now these signs should align to with that thing so na jambi like tunataka see at your wambi agui signs ziko ni wetu naamua red means approach <laughs> instead of deceased out nature <laughs> i'm out yes okay you said something okay another thing that 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 i had you say when we were off air which i think is like i hadn't looked at it like that girl groups literally there was there was tattoo tattoo and then after now came in the sema okay that one had a guy but still sema yeah so you guys were sema we knew we were in good company we were like sema we got you in fact we need we need competition <laughs> we got you sana i've known sana forever sana is a cousin to one of my best friends so i knew her from like then mm-hmm. actually is a huge disservice that we do to sana pay tande as kenyans that sana is not like on whitney levels yep I sana agree. is way way pam men they could sing just let me tell you that yeah, yeah. free mm-hmm. they knew what's up so we were me and Jerry were very confident going in we knew where like us guys come from the family of Lauren aha uh-huh. we got this easy easy your time nilikuwa na imba keys in a in a minor mm-hmm. I Alicia Keys Alicia top keys. to bottom forward backwards i could sing the John Legend album backward forward all the harmonies everything we were unmatched in our minds we were just like bro ni siku tu ija kam siku yetu na kam acha tungangane na studio but now after jerry left my next one was task project, project fame, fame. first time ever 2006 2006 task project fame uh huh so task project fame i'm like i think there was another singing competition we'd seen from sa it's modeled around another I don't. singing idols idols yeah uh-huh. so in my mind i'm not the kind of artist who'd go on a music show Mm-hmm. Um and then we were in coast for a trip a school trip and then in Nakumatnyali I bumped into Ted Josaya So I haven't seen Ted in some years now I, I, I haven't seen Ted actively in a while, in a yeah, while. Yeah. yeah I hadn't seen Ted actively in a while Ted is like yo what's up What are you doing in Cosme? I'm like, yeah, we are here for a school trip. Nini USAU is like, "Isa, me I'm here to do auditions for Tasca Project Fame. I think you should audition." <laughs> I'm like, "Eh? Bro, si tu make am hapa tu chukue gauge to endele na bus. To look at bus. You say you man. Get with the program. Bus ya kwa red. Okay? The code. Hapo sasa tuko tuko na ka best in the code. Hapo sasa Pojiroso my brother tumejua mm-hmm. na Pojiroso tangu USAU day one bro yep. sasa Pojia meingia the code sasa tumeingia code wow 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 actually wow, come wow, audition wow. oh i think i think i may have been with John Allen who is my homie since USAI uh, since St Mary's like day one of St Mary's so um <laughs> Okay so now TPF yeah. so so TPF. now your coast to Josiah is like yo by the way I'm I think there. you should sing I come for the audition I'm like eh. so I'm, I can't remember if I was with John Allen at that point where we met Ted or I went to tell him and he's like nigga you have to apply for this thing we have to go for the audition I'm like oh, I don't know about that Auditioning mm. 
already I'm also so deflated like my girl group has now broken up mm, you're solo <sighs> but then anyway my friends gas me up they're like yo you have to go you have to go you have to go so I was like I we're in coast <laughs> <laughs> what? you know what I mean the audition what? is tomorrow I'm here you're here I had a good cover version of uh, Ewe Musa I used to sing. Mhm. Mm Kabaka. Like I can do this thing. A big part of me was also like Ted Josiah told me to go audition. So to me even now Ted Josiah is still Ted Josiah. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Um so I'm like Isa, I'll come. So I go I audition. Then you have all the nerves of auditions, it's disgusting, but anyway, I audition. And um I get in. So what happens? Next they tell level. you, I mean, at that, at that course, you're told course, next level, time, yeah. next level, next level. So you got in, of course, at that time, you've got your, your two or your three S's. Yeah. You're, so you're you just in. keep getting in, getting in, getting in, getting in. So I don't, I can't remember that cup process, that whole process. Okay, okay. of how many auditions that I did, but I know I qualified in the Mombasa round. Mm -hmm. Then you remember now the different rounds then had like a main qualifier. Yes. Then from the main qualifier, they chose... Um so I don't remember that process but I remember that they ended up choosing I think the house needed to have 12 people and then they chose 16 or something like it's a number it's it's commensurate to that it's a, mm -hmm. a number like that Yeah But I think it was 12 people because it's 12 weeks I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they chose 16 so me I made it to the final 16 Yo So I was like dope But now the final 16 we had to enter like a pre-house it's like there was the house before the house. Yes, yes. So the final 16 had to be in the house. So you the f after the first week they did a televised show and two people or four people were thrown out. Then now the next week another two people had to be thrown out to now get the 12 who entered the house. Mm -hmm. It was something like that. Yeah, okay, I understand. I apologize if I'm not accurate about the numbers or whatever, yeah, yeah. but that, that was the but basic was system. Process. That yes, was the I system. Yeah, uh -huh. So now to enter this pre-house, pre this is where we are top 16 are, um, semester is in session. So now what am I going to do? Uh -huh. So now I go to our dean, Ruthie Rono, and I'm like, Dr. Rono, there's this thing called Tasca Project Fame. You get talk 16, I have to go. Can you give me the semester off? But I don't know. In case I don't make it. Can I come back? Can I come? <laughs> She's just like, you're nuts. But, USIU, I told you I was on the Dean's List. I was also very active. We had like a, a club we had begun, a feminist uh, uh, club called Amkadada. Um, mm -hmm. We were running poetry slams and leading the discourse really on like, Femin on feminism, feminist literature, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Africanism. We would do things called poetry. We'd organize events like Poetry Slam. Yes. And then there's like winners. We'd involved like uh, our um, uh, our chancellor, vice chancellor, uh, Dr. Brown. So she was a fan of Amkadada. Dr. Brown would just be like, yo, can those babes of Amkadada meet me upstairs for lunch? We're like, yes. Lunch in the cafeteria, that's expensive lunch you get. <laughs> Definitely on the house. So I had a sequel teacher's pet, but I guess mm -hmm. I was a rep poor and I was a grade poor. And I was just like, okay. And then again, I guess she calculated even if I took the semester off, I would still graduate with my class. Yep. I was still ahead of my class anyway. So I got the final exam. Yeah. Final exam. I was still ahead of my class anyway. So I got the semester off. Now go home and tell my mother. How was night May is coming wow, 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 to wow, that wow. Shukuru. <laughs> to sing, to sing. But the task a project. Once on a ski, a task a project. Task a good one to concentrate on your partner for task a. Okay. We, Niliona Sikumrefu. I don't actually know how my mother agreed to the story. To, to date, I don't know how. I don't remember when you asked you to come and you Anyway, you live part of your life task a project. Now the 16 in this Top other 16. Digs. Yes. So now who are some of the people in, in that Alvan? We were the first yes. PF. Patricia Kihoro. Alvan, no, 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 no Patricia um, Lilita. Patricia. Uh, Valerie, Valerie Kimani. Kimani. Yes. Um Oh my god. She then sang with the band for many years. She's such a good singer. Yes, uh, uh I, I know who you're saying. I know who you're saying. Yes. <laughs> Nakaya. I, uh, 
Nakaya Sumari, I don't know if you remember Nakaya from TZ. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, hey. you're with that crew. Hey, the first crew, the That's original your... crew of TPF. Oh, gee! <laughs> I'm telling you, Wadoni, they don't know. I know. <laughs> they, they know! Niggas still not knowing shit, manze. <laughs> Msee na fuck with upgrade. Manze sometimes you will feel pia nyinyi ata nyinyi sometimes manze. See where we this is. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Definitely nyinyi. <laughs> Mimi mdop. Nyinyi ndio mna fuck kujiuliza. Na no wonder in chain we koivi. No wonder. Anyway. Yeah. So now we are in the top 16 house. Mm -hmm. And that was my first introduction into entertainment for TV. Yes. All of TV is fake. Wacha nikwambie sasa wacha nikusaidie sana. TV is fake. Kama una kitu inaitwa si reality TV, si juu Kardashian, si juu nani nani. Unajua kitu ni very engineered. It's very 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 fake. Even you are fake. First mengine your place. They sell you it's an academy. It's not an academy. This is a marketing exercise for Tasca. Mm -hmm. For 12 weeks, actually for 16 weeks kutoka Mwanza hizo ma audition mm -hmm. hit hizo vitu zote. Munaongea nini? Lazima mseme Tasca kabla muende kwa hiyo project fame. Lazima mpitie wapi? Tasca. Okay? This thing is designed to create talkability for Tasca. Step 1. Step 2, it is designed for its entertainment value. Mm -hmm. Ma audience wana feel nini? Judges hapo wana kuangana opposition. Hakuna kitu ati hapo ati these are my thoughts. It is engineered. Huyu ni yule ana kuanga medram. Huyu ni yule ana kuanga encouraging. Mm -hmm. Huyu judge mm -hmm. ni yule ana pia ananga feedback poa but si mbaya si mzuri. Mm -hmm. U judge ni yule bitch. Hiyo mm -hmm. kitu yote na kuanga imepangwa. Now the f part of that thing. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm so sorry for this no, no, language. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's I've okay. many years to say this. None of that shit is about the artists. So when you take raw talent that has never been in front of a camera, this is the most unnatural environment that mm -hmm. you can have. Yep. Now, not a camera, cameras. Perform to the cameras, also perform to the audience. Eh? Nili perform wapi ndio sasa nianze kuperform ya camera at ni kwena consciousness at venye camera ina move Nani amekufundisha venye kukua kwa stage Sasa mimi ninakuanga na sneakers mumesema ni vai heels because kuna look yule dem anafaa kukua mm. because already kila character lazima to create characters out of this Sasa sisi ni characters mm. in a movie mm. sawa mm. So lazima to fit different roles because sasa ile kuna hiyo character ndio audience wanasema mimi napenda huu mse mi spend um say hiyo ndio inaitangwa entertain entertainment hiyo audience ku choose nani watachukua judge alisema sijui kukafanya nani yakalala hiyo ndio big brother hiyo mchuz vitu mm. sawa which is dope kama ule mtu anafanya hiyo kitu ameelewa hivyo mm, mm, mm. but at least season yetu and for many seasons to come wasanii walikuwa naingia like this is my break yep. as an artist yep. i've been this academy i'm going to be getting this training from this person i'm going to be what nothing everything is geared towards your live show but you have never had any exercise in any of that any of that you're working with a professional crew and them all mm -hmm. And Sara Migwe, Sara wangu, Sara my sister. <laughs> Manze uno na crew ya wase, wase strangers wasi wangapi juu cameras ngapi juu lights. Wewe umoepigwa na spotlight kwa uso hivi. Mm. Usahau wimbo wacha ki. <laughs> Mimi kwa ni ile wimbo gani hapa? Na productions cost money. So ain't nobody got time to hold your hand, madam. Umekuja hapa kupea na entertainment. We entertain watu ukienda? Audi. Hiyo kitu ilikuwa a big education for me of what it should not be. Mm -hmm. But kulikuwa na ile part nyingine. Masanii ni very competitive. Artists are very competitive people. And especially when you put a bunch of talented people and you're telling them next week you just become friends four of you out of this house. I want you to understand how poison us that psyche is in the mm. house so you don't even know whether to have like real friendships or real interactions because this person is my competition mm. there's the, they're about to take that money this tv show emphasizes this bullshit idea in the world called scarcity mentality there are only so many resources for some people so you must fight for these resources and without these resources ole wako mm. so ile mood iko kwa nyumba inakuanga very competitive amjuani mumeambwa tu ingieni nyinyi ni entertainment you spend hours a day rehearsing like technical moves 
to try and understand this thing but also it needs to have choreography but also it needs to have but also because you see we, you've not even asked what is a format that is in keeping with where our industry mm -hmm. is how do we create a format that nurtures a thing we have you've gone and said what is a good marketing format so we a marketing format the first day when we went around introducing ourselves linda muthama linda yes, nobody yes, seems yes. like you that's the person in my life i thought i would be in a band with in my mind, I never told her and I never did anything about it, but I was like, if I'd ever be in a band with somebody, I'd be like in a band with Linda. Nobody has work ethic like Linda. Mm. Nobody. That girl is grind. Alafu ile sharpness ya usani, udwe kuimba. Linda ni moto ya kuotea mbali. Anyway, so tuko kwa hii sasa crew, watu wanaenda around wakijisema. When Val said she was sitting directly across me, then she said, my name is Valerie Kimani, and I will surprise you i had a premonition that valerie is the one to watch in the house mm -hmm. she's the one who'll win mm -hmm. so then i was like so nina do <laughs> what am i doing in this house why have i had a premonition like this so from very long time ago muskia <laughs> mavito mm. ma sentence na muskiliza nikisikizo ma sentence mm. so i knew that I, I was not having an imagination i had a premonition as she was saying it's like eh -eh. so then what is my role here so there's a part of me that instantly relaxed it's like relax but i'm in a competition eh but you, you don't have to be competing you can be in a competition environment but you don't have to be competing you, what can you get out of this thing what do you want to get so you sing eh -eh, akina alvan like there are no better singers than those Mm. learn from your other people okay cool but that's when i saw how tv is engineered dude it was not a good experience for us who are like raw artists in that environment mm. and me i even feel i was not so raw because i'd had experience yep, with yep, like yep. carrying equipment upstairs to I do mean, your gig yep. you know looking for producers being turned down already eh, nilikuwa na experience kiasi mm. <laughs> okay so it was not great for me but it was not terrible there were people who came in with nothing but raw talent and so this was how they perceived things akina tina there's a girl called tina bro it was not dope but it did what it did in the second week i was thrown out mm, so you didn't go get into the main house i didn't get into the main house mm -hmm. but to be sure even now when i think back um is th that lights camera moment lights camera action my brain couldn't function in that environment mm -hmm. and our first tpf we were like here then there's like and there was like a south african crew even it's the whole thing the energy you're here and then there's like water 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 a big water body then now there's like the judges then there's like the humans then them they've come to be lit to turn up the show so when the lights just went on i was just like bro not for me not not for me impossible i didn't have enough to just tune into the music at that moment mm -hmm. okay i get everything else was too frustrating and i think i'd had that conversation with you off camera just like even basic things like so how what stars are meant to look like so now me i didn't have the body shape of what the stylist meant to look mm -hmm. like so you've been told the things you can carry from home so the stylist has already come and she's like man there's nothing here you can wear all your stuff is boring i remember that pink top it's nakaya who gave me and it was a skirt so there was no there was no styling allowance either for the show or for me mm -hmm. so even the stylist even as you're back there being done for styling you're being like reminded like yeah this so you have a you're not, more, you're not meant thing. to be a star you're not meant to be a star but you're around it you have the sense of it watu wanatengenezwa nywele nini outfits za watu zengine ina work but yako i work we sister una look ngoza kwa i fit so une una hizo vitu zote ziko kwa akili yako na hakuna mtu ati anakumonitor ati nini sijui whatever hakuna mtu amekupatia another way to it's a psychological trip i mean what yes. you're talking about it's i mean it's a it's it can depending on you actually depending it doesn't even matter who you are that kind of you're not made for this you're not that's what you're hearing you're yeah. not made for this yeah. you're not made for which this which reinforces the other stories that I had been told kenyans can't listen to a kenyan like you this thing is too different so the whole thing is reinforcing so even as i'm doing this i'm like actually what am i doing here mm -hmm. hey you're sick on lilia sasa unajua kiisha na david moreithi who then became 
a lifelong mentor. So fast forward, um, again, because of my reputation with creatives, um, EABL asked me to be one of the inaugural judges for Tusca Project Fame 1. Serious? You were one of the... Yes, I was one of the judges, along with uh, Ian and Joy Boyer, the very first TPF 1, as they call it. Because I stalked him aggressively after that. He's the one who like cast the last vote to throw me out, so I was just like... Ugh. No, unajua kisha throw you out, umeisha, story yako imeisha hapo. Wale wengine wanachukua bag zao. They go back. Kwa hiyo house, hapo tulikuwa, mm. wali, tulikuwa tumeka mwote na bag zetu. Because now you're going to the other house. So it's either you're going to that house or you're going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. halfway house is over. So hiyo ceremony, sasa na, una bag zao, wanaingia kwa hiyo nyumba, I'm just like, shit. Sasa sina tight, na sina TPF, na nimetoka shule. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not funny, but that's also crazy. Now, as soon as like, the show ended, I'm going to Now you're nobody. I couldn't tell what to a production on a few years. Just to resign. To make sure I move, say to now watch this main show. Nim likwa auditions. To make my audition. Hey, that feeling. Nili lia. Sasa ni rudi kwa mama yangu. Si kunex ni ende kwa doctor Ruthirano ni mwambie ni aje please na mbatu mi ni rudi she shule ni najua ni mimi siku kimbili amatatu. But but si najua tu mi intakata pia story ni aje so I guess she consulted and it was okay so I was reinstated. And that was the worst semester of my life. That is the first time I got jaded in music and I was like actually what am I looking for? And did you have people telling you oh you didn't make it don't worry next time? Like my in school. My friends were trying to be support were very supportive but I couldn't receive it. I felt very publicly embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Like imagine a song that you know so well in the house all the contestants are like dude you got this. Like everybody was sure I was in like the top 12. And then I just like could not so like there were some notes I sang off key. So I'm like everybody remembers that that's the living memory. Mm -hmm. I'm so embarrassed for all this work I've done. How could I not be able to hold that moment? I failed. That was a moment that I registered as a fail. Like that Yo. was my first. Like I could. There's nothing I could have done more in that situation, and I didn't make it. Yeah. So the rest of that year was very hard. I was just there, like I don't know what I'm so doing. So that moment. So what what I'm hearing from you is that that moment was so huge. In terms of, it could have been a turning point mm. for you. You could have been like, by the way, imagine, lawyer it is. So it could have been. I was. I was. I was definitely in that, I don't know that lawyer could have, not really, but in that moment, I didn't know what it can be. Mm -hmm. Because I've tried so hard to get this recording, it's not panning out. And then I've now tried another route, which is like maybe to get in through, like, because if I'm on TPF, like people will know you, eventually mm. the music has to get on the radio. Now that's not worked out. And now the band that I had doesn't also exist. So, oh, yeah. nothing. So I was just in wilderness. So you didn't make music that year? From that point, I just like, I was just in wilderness. Just wilderness, just wilderness. And wilderness, what does, what does that mean in your wilderness version? Wilderness means just like searching, not really searching. Wilderness is just Almost that. Almost exactly. Okay, I There are no you, yeah. answers. You're just yeah. listless. Um, life doesn't, that's our lunch. <laughs> so, so you're in wilderness at this time. It's hard, you know. That's the part, that's the first time you knock yourself. In all those years, I had never had a crisis of confidence. Because I'm like, is this possible also that it may be me? Was Musioka right? Ah, uh, what? Have I, in, have I in fact come to the end of my thinking, Imeisha? Is it, should, should I also live tight? Should I, should should I, also, I, also should also I leave this thing? Mm. And then I want to say maybe then Common and Jill Scott and Erica Badu saved my life. Nice. To, yeah, 20, the end of 2006 is when I discovered them, the top of 2007. I just listened to music now, India Ari. I just listened. I was like, I'm not writing any more music. I'm not trying to chase the music dream. And why do you say they saved your life? I, they saved my life because I was, I was in despair. That was my first existential crisis. Has everything I have thought about myself been wrong? Is Because ev I had always held that, you know, me, me I know what's up. It's you guys who don't know what's up. Mm. So in this moment, mm -hmm. I was like, or is it possible that you, you guys know, know what's, what's up, up. and me. I'm the one who doesn't know what's up, right? But when I found Common, I was like, why do I love Common? Just keep listening to this kind of music. What does this music make you feel? So just listen to music. Mm -hmm. don't, don't solve, it's not solvable. Where you are right now is not a solvable situation. Just listen to music instead for a while. 
let's just see what happens if you just listen to music instead so i just listened and i feel like they calmed me down into like yeah the music you like is dope it's true they exist mm-hmm. it's true it's there it's there for real for real for real he examples that's where, yeah yeah he examples that's also now when i opened the palette a bit said listening to like jay-z mm-hmm. it's like oh like listening listening i'd listen to jay-z but i'd not listen listen, listen. listen. so that t- i spent a lot of time just like listening to music um and let's be clear this time you're not rapped i haven't rapped there's no the rap side of no, you no i'm just like listening to music mm-hmm. and then i coaxed myself i discovered ella fitzgerald mm-hmm. so ella fitzgerald is this epic jazz artist uh from the 30s onward and it was enchanting i'd never had anything like that then i found billy holiday i found like a whole other genre of music that i didn't know what any of that music was so then i started to sing like ella fitzgerald so i just like listen to a song and then like sing over and over and like follow her imitate all her runs the phrasing so i think bit by bit bit by bit slowly slowly i was still very delicate but slowly slowly like just my feeling like mhm it's okay maybe you're different and that's also okay maybe it's okay that that didn't work out so now i'm singing i'm listening to new soul a lot i'm like maybe maybe i can sing this music at that time i'd met mathayo and chao of gravity Mm-hmm. Those are my niggas from then 2007 that's when we met and a guy called Davy was playing keys mm-hmm. and a guy called Carlton who was playing guitar I was like yo this is music new soul I played for Matthew Matthew's like damn this music is dope, dope. <laughs> so I'm like I so see you guys be my band I sing they're like cool I don't know where we're going to sing then I'm like yo there's this club in Das it's not really a club it's like an Ethiopian yeah. restaurant what <laughs> I think there's some band that perform there and that's where David Ongoma David yep. Ongoma uh-huh. that's where his band also used to perform the Calabash the Cal- yes. so Omar's brother was in that band yes it's yes. it's that's in fact where I know them from Das correct from next Das to Q's. exactly yeah. next to Q's and if you went to USA you obviously you went to Q's in mm-hmm. your life so that's how I discovered Das so then they told me it's the same owner so I was like yo bro niaje I sing new soul can we come and uh, we do one night we audition and like if you like it we can make a plan is like alright whatever then we did we told all the homies you guys come through pull up guys are like alright did you have a aight, name alright no nice smoothoni okay with some new soul songs we practiced with Akina Mathayo and then we sang and it was dope our <laughs> friends were like hey i'm like yes Okay, I can do this. I didn't know that my life was going to be like a cover band. It was not my ideal dream, but okay. So I did that for a couple of months. The gig was growing. I'm learning. So it's allowing me to stay in music practice, but I'm not singing any of my music. Like mm-hmm. my personal confidence, belief that had been knocked. Whoa. So this is me just being like Whoa. I like these songs and at least you guys know Jill Scott is real. Mm-hmm. So you guys yes. like Jill Scott. <laughs> let me you So up. let me sing for you some Jill Scott songs. I do that I do that 2007 I'm just doing that in the meantime I finish now recording the demo by myself at Moses Nderito studio not Nderito yeah he's a he's a very cool drummer anyway now I've recorded my demo and what 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 was the name of the song that you recorded so it was songs we did in tight dope dope songs okay we had like four songs on our demo five I even think mm mm-hmm. Wimbo zetu zilikuwa kali siku siku cheat. Yeah. So let's tulikuwa tunasema sema peke yake peke yao ndio contemporaries wetu. We joking. knew we were not bullshitting. Mm. We knew we had good songs. So now I recorded them as a solo artist. And did you have guidance in the production? Why are you saying do this, do yeah, that? Yeah, but you know a big part of it was you know we learned the music by making it. We wrote oh, okay. it and the musicians get, composed yes, to our I, taste. Mm-hmm, so I already the music was composed. So mm. si kuana yes, yeah. sana ninajaribu ku record kitu ninajua mm-hmm. and the more i sing it the more i know it mm-hmm. so wewe unaweza ni guide maybe like the tone of the drums mm. so that if you want a live feel or if you want something more muted now those are the things that moze god bless him moze really helped me nika record na alikuwa uko buru 
Of course, Madangwa ni peangi do <laughs> because she's just like where we. So anyway, now I'm almost graduating. I'm like I don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen to my life? I definitely don't have a music career. So I yani siko na dua, siko na elewa next move. You know what what I'm hearing? <laughs> it's just the power of that one event. Uh, maybe it was a build up and this was a combination. Yeah. yeah, I think this is a combination. The frustration of yeah, trying yeah. to record the demo, mm-hmm. having Delay been with Ted, in the this... presence of Ted Dosai, not having left with anything. Yeah. Uh, there's a team then incident. CPF, there's Lamu. Yeah. Oh yeah. Between all of that stuff, I'm just yeah. like. Pfft. I get it. This was a culmination. Yeah. Okay. I think I for it. us, it just felt like. Mm. So anyway, you you uh, you've got the demo. You're about to, but you see, you're still making strides, which is cool. I guess, yeah. So now we're making strides. Yeah, it's mm. true. Recording five tracks. That's an it's EP. It's true. It's true. And also, yeah. And you know, there's something I miss because I think the year before we we were on Victor Say's project, the Kenyan Christmas. We were some of the BGVs. Nice. Uh, we met Victor. I think he was a music director. TPF. Like you know, there were some moves. That's when we met Susan Gashukia. That was the second boss babe we met in the industry. Mm-hmm. And Susan took us very seriously. And I thank God for Susan because she's just like. It'd be it'd be like that. <laughs> just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Um, Somebody who had been there before you. I met Masi Myra. So Susan and Masi, they were the only two women in the industry who ever took time and just to like pour something into me. Masi Myra invited me and Jerry to her home. She, What? That, yeah, that, I met a bus like this kwa nyumba yake. So I think they used to be roommates like her. Yes, a bus her and attitude. And attitude exactly. Yeah, in Kile. In Kile. Yep. And you remember how their their wall they had drawn they yeah. had painted and bamboo it's a bus. Had, it no, was it's a, bus. Bus. a bus. Yeah, a bus had like made the walls like murals. That's the first time I went to an artist's house. I'm like, "Oh, I'm not crazy. That's how artists are meant to live." Like, your artists, you guys live in Kile, bro. You eat, that mm. means that there's money. Mm. So But it was a real big knock of confidence. TPF knocked me off my my game, mm. and also seeing now the industry, like this TV that I'm dying to get in, everything is fake. I, I was just very disillusioned. Mm. So singing in das was like healing. Kiasi pole pole, just sing, just sing because you like singing. Mm. Now you're about to graduate. Now what's going to happen? Utafanya, <laughs> utadu. Apondio, another miracle. Bestia bestia yangu. Oh my husband Sju works over here. He's looking for a program assistant. Just come apply for the job. So we went with my friend. Me I even read the wrong company profile. So I, I was very sure I didn't get that job at the end yeah. of the interview because I also told them if you guys need me to work on the weekend just know I can't do that. I have a, a band I perform with. My hair is red because <laughs> yeah. I'm an artist. Uh, anyway, I got the job because God. And the job was that? at Ecraft at, at organization in Ecraft so Ecraft ni ka kusema UN mm-hmm. UN has very many organizations yes. inside it but there's also the UN secretariat mm-hmm. right so me I thought that the job was with Ecraft but in fact the job was with Biodiversity International which is one of the organizations in Ecraft yeah. so mini li chop interview ya yeah? Ecraft <laughs> okay yeah so leni mesha maliza sasa ile time sasa maswali wakaniambia the first thing maybe we should correct you is uko ni Biodiversity So up on journey you and me in the interview yeah, okay yeah. so ni ka relax after that you obviously e job at a party <laughs> so tunitawaambia anyway hata mgeni gie job mjue mimi msanii mimi yeah. na kuanga kwa gig fulani so mnaweza kama kujitikia so to be that i got the job so 100% i got the job based on personality and i'm a clever babe i guess now my boss robert lettington god bless his soul forever that's the coolest boss in the world i wish i could just like grow up and be like him that girl's like this chick is dope she's clever I I like she's a, a musician. So that's how I got the job. <laughs> and so what was the role? It was a, uh, there were three scientists and I was the, I was the manager of their project. Mm-hmm. So they were doing research, putting the thing together, coordinate with other researchers in like Nepal, Ethiopia, read all their boring research papers and like make sure that like this paper in a wana ambatana na venye wanasema na scientists logistics join the gazao za kuenda nini vitu kama hizo yeah. currency wakikam kuna hizi vitu wana feel ndio wapate sijui refund zao mama must have been happy eh? <laughs> hey what do you mean what do you mean and it's like right next to un ah we go in the form na yasho ka form manze nilikuwa nalipwa like 80k <laughs> you made it Bro. and you finished alafu unapokewa unachukua na school bus so me i got the job before i finished 
Wow. But like I told you, I was ahead of my class. Even I was ahead. So I had an empty semester to wait for guys to finish for us to graduate in August. Because I had begun in the summer semester and then I had gotten a year out because of IB. So nilikuwa na time. So nilikuwa tu kazi na ngoja tuna graduate August. Nimeingia job. Nikaingia saa maisha ya job. But tulikuwa tumekubaliana for mimi naingia office bus naenda tao tunapiga tizi na kina Mathayo mm. saa tu tunaenda das So mdogo 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 this 2007 after we've graduated i see this advertisement on the on the second last day uh, hold on we'll talk about that when okay, we come back so i'm done yes yes <laughs> wait 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 a sec yeah actually you guys we should go get food and also it's been an hour so uh,